Lisa Donner here from Liberty Nation, and with me today is Gabby Fiorino. Gabby has been with us as a writer since the beginning of LN, and she is our only millennial. Interestingly enough, she happens to go to school at UCF, the University of Central Florida, and a lot is going on down there concerning uh, campus craziness and the lack of campus diversity. Can you talk to us a little bit about that, Gabby? Late last month, the diversity chair uh, for the Student Government Association resigned uh, over claims that he made concerning um, stating that Trump supporters are not welcome on campus. A lot of students and parents were upset over the matter and uh, the diversity chair was forced to resign. So this is the diversity chair that's doing this. Now is is this something common? I mean, do you find UCF a very friendly, diverse environment or not? I've, I've had good and bad experiences. In, in my classes, I haven't uh, had any issues with professors being intolerant, but I do know some uh, friends that uh, have had to hide some of their views uh, since they're afraid they won't get an A grade on a paper for expressing um, opposing viewpoints. Uh, but with other students, I, I haven't had any issues. Everyone is pretty friendly and, and open to discussion. But you are in a science major. I am wondering about people who are, say, in a uh, maybe a business major or a political mm -hmm. science major. Uh, would there be any differences, say, in those courses? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yesterday, I actually met with the Young Americans for Liberty. I met with the secretary and vice president, and they actually informed me that um, they've had to be careful in some of their courses because they're afraid of uh, receiving bad grades. They've lost some friends over their political viewpoints, and they even know some uh, friends of theirs that have had similar experiences, and they're both political science majors. Uh, so it's definitely uh, different uh, since they take more courses and are in, more in that field. Now, coming up pretty soon, you have a series on UCF. Can you preview that for us a little bit? I'm going around to different UCF groups, uh, one of them, the Young Americans for Liberty, and I'm uh, reaching out to some other groups uh, to see what the political climate may be like in the future once millennials end up uh, taking these political positions. Um, so, so far, I'll be reaching out to more, but I I, uh, I was left on red by the Knights for Socialism and the UCF Democrats. So uh, those, they didn't respond to me, but everyone else has been uh, pretty cool so far. Surprise, surprise. Well, thank you very much, Gabby Fiorino. I'm Lisa Donner. Please look forward to Gabby's series on campus craziness at UCF. This is LNTV.